What's up YouTube? You guys might remember around 4 months ago I did a little video tutorial on importing custom weapons into Overgrowth. Now at the end of the video, do you remember the weapons came out looking as it is presented on the screen right now. They were really shiny, they were silvery, and I said that I basically have no clue what to do with texturing. I'm a total noob and I had no idea what I was doing. Well, I spent the last 4 months deeply researching it and basically rebuilding the whole Phoenix engine and learning how to texture and taking lessons in Photoshop and all that stuff and to be honest I really just googled it after I finished uh, high school exams but I did find a solution for you guys so I know what to do now so what I'll show you is how to correctly import textures into Overgrowth so they don't look shiny and ridiculous now it's actually surprisingly easy all you have to do is if you remember in the tutorial we had our data custom turkey div king textures folder right and we were working on the tut sword the tutorial sword and we had the diffuse and we had the normal map textures right literally all you have to do is take the color texture, whatever it's called, right? Take the color texture, open it with any um, any uh, picture editing program you use. I use GIMP on this computer. I would normally use Photoshop, but I only have Photoshop on my Mac. And I hope it works because GIMP is very finicky and nobody really knows what the hell is going on with GIMP. Anyway, so you open up your uh, picture editing software and you literally have to do one simple thing. It's so beautiful. I love it when things are this simple and they work. Now, uh, while we wait for uh, GIMP to uh, actually get to work and properly do its thing, literally all you have to do is, um, when you have the layer of the picture, you have the picture, all you do is reduce the visibility or the alpha or whatever you want to call it to around 15%. And that's it. You save the file. You save it just like we saved it uh, in the original tutorial. You know, uh, I'll, sh I'll actually do that right now. I'll open up the... No, stop. This it fraps makes everything so slow. You go back to objects, which you remember we did weapons, and we had the tooth sword XML. Uh, if we open that with Notepad, there we go. You remember we had that whole thing where we list the textures and stuff, right there. See color map, and you see that I already changed it to the diff alf one, right? So literally, you just redirect it to whatever you call this texture. So now that GIMP has started question mark maybe, yes, no. No. All right. Well, once it does start, basically what we do is we go from uh, that, from textures. Uh, we originally had a texture called tooth sword underscore diff dot png, this one, right? And that's what we directed it in the objects, uh, the tooth sword dot xml. You open up that file, and then you change the visibility of it to 15%, so it looks uh, transparent-ish, so it doesn't look very clear. Now, the reason we do this is because overgrowth... Um, or the Phoenix engine, rather, uh, takes uh, more information from the pictures itself. So it doesn't actually just stick the texture onto the object in the engine, but rather like it takes um, details about light from the texture and then based on uh, that information, changes the appearance in game. So there you go. GIMP has finally decided to load up, which is rather nice. And we have this, right? So I don't know how, uh, what it looks like in uh, Photoshop, but in GIMP, all you do is you change this to... 50 and you press enter there you go and see it becomes like transparent ish right and then we export it to the same place so if you still have a copy of the tutorial sword you literally just export it as the same name and if you've replaced that name you don't even have to change the text file the xml file which is so nice so you can make changes on the go uh, quote unquote so now we can close that ignore the changes close gimp and if we now go into Overgrowth, and I'll show you, hopefully it won't take ages to load this time, knowing my luck it probably will because Fraps is running, GIMP is open, let's close that actually, it'll, it's probably a good idea. Uh, and then once it loads up, it will no longer look like this, like the Silver Surfer, it will look like a proper textured weapon. And that's literally it, it's so simple, it's lovely, it's fantastic. So. Uh, if you've just come back from watching the original tutorial, now you know how to import your custom weapons. If you've watched this video first and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, you should probably go check out my previous video on this because Overgrowth is quite a cool game. And uh, based on this, I will now start to import more and more uh, World of Warcraft weapons into Overgrowth. I have already done around four, I think. Uh, I might work on the Ashbringer today or, or Thunder Fury, depends, uh, we'll see how it goes. And with that in mind, you can import anything you really want, any Blender file into Overgrowth and make it look all snazzy. Yeah, it doesn't look like Overgrowth wants to open right now, it's really slow, I don't really have the newest computer and I filled it up to 90% of, of the hard disk space, so... 
But yeah, so there's an update to the tutorial that I promised like four months ago. I'm sorry it took so long, high school and exams and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned a lot from it. And I will see you next time. Peace.